What's going on, ladies and gents? Maddie C here. It's been a while. Feels good to be back. Other words of endearment. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> um. Ooh. You know what? One thing I failed to mention in last week's show. Cleveland. Ooh, the Cleveland land. is going crazy. Playoffs. Home field advantage. We get to fight. Fight. We're going to fight, fight Boston. We're going to fight them on the side of the streets. We're fighting. We get to play the Red Sox at home in Cleveland. First game is Thursday at 8 p.m. So Now, is that this Thursday coming up? That is or? this Thursday. So it's going to already happen by the time you see it? Yeah, it'll have already happened by the time you see this. Well, you know, I don't know where some of our fans are. We might even have fans overseas. If that's the case, that's awesome. Yeah, there seems to be like some of the people in the Netherlands. It's yeah, weird, but yeah. Uh, but uh, yes, Cleveland again, going big, killing it. Indians playoffs, home field advantage. Can't wait till Thursday. Can't wait to see what they do against the Red Sox. It's the Red Sox, so it's gonna be tough. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, so happy about that. Um, anyway, let's get into the thick of it. A uh, couple things. First of all, this is kind of short, but another anime recommendation uh, I got into. I've been wanting to get into this anime forever. Everybody's like, watch it, watch it. It's awesome. Watch it. So, Hunter x Hunter is great. Uh, I believe it is done. You can watch all of it. It's 148 episodes long. I'm on like 17 or 18 or something like that right now. But the thing that I like about this anime, it's one of those animes that just picks up and just hits the ground running sure from episode this? one. Yeah. There's I no... The I mean, there's like Next introduction of characters and then I crazy stuff happens. Instantly. Now why do you boys um, want to so become the premise all of this show in phase is one. there's these people called mind, hunters, and they hunt. I know that Death sounds very plain, <laughs> but there's more to it than that. You know it's a suicide, I'll explain right? further in the show. But uh, in the beginning, what they're doing is they are going through the hunter exam, and there's five phases to sure it. Um, yeah. And I won't get into I the details to spoil anything, um, the but they have to get through these five steps and they get much more now, why ridiculous do you boys as it goes on. Well, but the thing will now with three main characters, I'm sorry, four main characters, is they're already ridiculous. Like, they are already insane. There's no, like, training for them. They're already insane. Um, Gon is the main character, and he's, like, 12 years old. He moves around like a ninja. His weapon of choice is a little weird. It's a fishing pole. But he finds good uses for it. Um, you have, uh, the names in this show are weird. Uh, you have Killua, I want to say, is, is, how you, is how you say his name. He's, again, he's, like, 12 years old, and he comes from a family of assassins. Okay. I and I don't want to give it away, but he is nuts. He can come across, it's like, okay, third step of the exam, whatever, he's going to fail here. Nope, I'm not going to fail this. That's all I can say without giving anything away. <laughs> but uh, the only character who's not, like, ridiculous right off the bat is, um, oh my gosh, how do you say his name? Uh, it starts with a K. He's the tall guy. Um, with the briefcase. Uh, what... That's also the the main... Okay, that's the main plot of this. Um, the whole story is Gon wants to become a hunter to find out just why his dad left him as a child to become a hunter. He's like, it must have been awesome. I want to become a hunter. Mm -hmm. He's like, why else would he leave his own son to go become a hunter? Like, he's just happy about it. He's like, no, I think it's awesome he abandoned me to go become a hunter. It must have been better than raising a kid. Right. So, um, <laughs> that guy's ridiculous. One thing to note, that what we're seeing right now, this is the old series. They rebooted the whole series to, like, you know, full 1080p, updated animation, really nice. 
the enemy's been around for a long time, but they have a reboot series. It's still called Hunter x Hunter, but anything you watch now, like if you're going to watch it on Crunchyroll, the, it yeah. will be the rebooted series. And it's not anything different, differently named. It's still Hunter Just x better Hunter. Animation, uh, animation. Uh, much better animation. It's, it's a lot cleaner. It's in HD now. It's in 1080p. Um, so it's nice to watch. But, um, yeah, that's the whole premise of the anime is Gon wants to figure out why his dad became a hunter. Um, and things are happening along the way. They basically start the exam with over over 600 applicants, and I'm on the final phase right now episode that they're going through, and there's like nine people. <laughs> so, uh, yes, Hunter x Hunter. So that's uh, my anime recommendation. I think we died. <laughs> Somebody may have just ran us over in Grand Theft Auto. Oh, we're still alive. We're still. Oh, what is happening? We, I almost, I almost want you to like switch no, just keep, and keep going. I'm gonna look. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Thunder X Hunter. Now, on to the actual topic that I was going to talk about. Didn't um, we die? Why are we here? I don't know. Maybe Sorry, like, I was just getting so surreal. Maybe you got attacked by a jaguar or something. A mountain lion. Uh, yeah. So, uh, the actual topic. I just wanted to mention that because I felt it necessary to be mentioned. Um, my actual topic is um, about... I feel like I've reiterated this before, but it's from a different perspective. I want to talk about game endings. Now, that being said... Um, spoilers? Not not so much spoilers. What I kind of wanted to talk about was... Um, do you feel the need... Do developers feel the need to have conclusive conclusive endings to games like if you're playing a game uh, I, was just, I was just listening to a, a podcast about this before, like, like if you're if you're playing and this has been the case since like the the super nintendo or the nintendo you know games do continue after you beat them do you want a game with you know a satisfying conclusive ending or you know depending on what you're playing do it, you want it to keep going do you it honestly it not have a conclusive ending because there's games like, you think back to Chrono Trigger on the SNES, that game was like, choose your... Well, it all had the same ending, but you could choose your own path, you could travel through time, you could go straight to this boss fight, you know, mm -hmm. stuff like that. But, you know, you've got games nowadays like, you know, Skyrim and Fallout 4, where they do have the main storyline, and you can choose what you want to do, but they're open games, you're open to do whatever you want. Um, you know, do you want games to have more conclusive endings or, you know, if it's completely open, cause that goes into play with, you know, linicality and open world games too. Like if you're playing fallout four, you might not expect it to have a conclusive ending or something, but honestly, it depends on the game. Depends first of all, yeah, especially if there's like a, a really set story, I would want a conclusive ending and I and by conclusive ending I don't mean the bull crap like cliffhangers that they do just because of the oh there's gonna be a sequel or even DLC like don't even do yeah. it because there's gonna be DLC Prince of Persia yeah remember that the re the reboot one yeah it came out the ending just was like what and then it's like oh guess what the real ending's in the DLC that nobody bought even even with like Halo 5 I get it. They're doing another one, but that ending was so terrible. See, I, still, I couldn't you even can, finish playing that yet. Like you can do a conclusive ending because, see, at this point, we already know. While we're playing the game, we already know that Halo Six is coming out. I mean, they announced that there's going to be another trilogy. Yeah, like a while ago. Yeah, so like we know the sixth game is coming out. Like, just give so us just some give kind of us, don't, good ending. Don't give us an ending where people are looking at each other and then the credits roll. Like, don't. That's literally the ending of Halo Five. They're just uh, like, I oh, you're here. That. Credits roll. Things happen before that, but still, I just, 
I don't know. Like, that's so terrible. It's so unsatisfactory. Like I'm saying, that's the thing. You you do this awesome story. Give it an ending. Yeah. Don't do this whole. Oh well, you know, for the next one. No, just if you're doing a story, do it right. That's even in movies. Like it's they'll still like you can still add a cliffhanger, but don't add it just. As the end. Yeah, the, the the things with a lot of endings is... Give it a nice conclusive wrap-up of the actual story that you were trying to tell. Right. Then add a little hint of what's to come next. Sure. The You know, the, the thing with, with a lot of endings is... Or a lot of games is, you know, somebody is playing a game. They have a lot of time invested into it. Mm-hmm. They're playing this game, and they get to the end of it like Uncharted 4... And oh, it, you know, it's one of the you best just, game endings. You you know you've got all this time invested into the story, and it's fantastic. And you're you know you've been along with the for the ride with all these characters, mm-hmm. and you just and then it's just like you have the perfect satisfactory ending, and you you feel like the time that you put into the game was worth it. That's yes. why when games don't have satisfactory endings. You don't. I don't want to say cheap. you. You feel robbed. You, you feel cheated. I don't want to say that it's like it, re, like Mass Effect Three. That's the. I, you know, a lot of people's. A lot of people was, hated that. Obviously, a they lot thought, of people hated the ending. Yeah, well, people probably honestly they blew it out of proportion. They thought yeah. there was going to be like a billion different choices, but let alone uh, Bioware was doing a story. They're going to have to tie it up. Yeah, it was the final game. They have to end it. They have to tie it up. Like the whole game was good. Yeah, I like and that was three. people's arguments was like, oh, it ruined everything. No, you have all this time, and I get it. You ha- you have all this time invested into it, but you have to look back. <laughs> you have to look back on the good times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it, it was look, a ride going up to the, the look end. back at the first game, the second game, playing through the third game. Like they gave us, Bioware gave us a phenomenal trilogy. See, that's what I want. I want to do. I, I've been talking about this for a while, but I want to do a game series where I play m- my favorite games. Yes, we and like, need to do that. like I want to do that, like, because then w- what I was thinking once uh, we get a new capture card, I'll give you my old ones, and then you can start recording some games for you that you want, and then we'll just do that for like Fridays. You know what I'm ha- I'm gonna have to do, and I'm gonna figure out how to do it. I'm gonna have to invest in PlayStation One. <laughs> Just emulator on the PC. That's true. Emulator. I could do... Yeah. Well, and then what's nice I... with me is I got a PS3, so I can play PS1 games if I want to. That's true, yeah. But mostly you can get emulators. I used to have one on my computer. Mm-hmm. But yeah, like, speaking of PS1 games, and just thinking of Metal Gear, like, satisfying ending. I'm not going to talk about the new one because you haven't played it yet. But even I'm that, gonna, like, play that tonight. I and swear even to him, g- though. <laughs> yeah, he's finally got it. I finally, finally I got, got it. it. I got it, and I still haven't played. It. I got it like uh, like four or five days ago. But yeah, like it's you play four, right? Metal Gear Solid Four. A little bit. Oh, I was gonna say. Well, anyways, <laughs> I know what a roller coaster. Yeah. What a roller coaster ending that was. Like know, it yeah. got so dramatic, so sad, and then. It comes back like I, I still remember the time I'm sitting there watching it. You know, they hear they hear the gunshot and whatnot, and <laughs> credits are rolling, and then you see Big Boss, and then some random name, and I'm like, Big Boss wasn't in this game, and then it starts coming back. I'm like, what's happening right now? What is happening? And then it's like, you see Big Boss, and it's like, wow, that was a real cool conclusion. Um, yeah, Metal Gear Solid Three, that one just oh my with gosh. boss like <sighs> boss a lot of people's Eva, favorite. like oh, that ending was just so perfect. That's a lot of people's favorite. That honestly between honestly between Uncharted 4's wrap up of the whole thing, Metal Gear Solid Three was one of my favorite endings. Yeah, that's another thing too. What are your favorite endings of games? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, we both agree on Uncharted Four. Yeah, that was such such a beautiful wrap up of everything. Mm-hmm. Um, um, I see. Really, the, when I think that, the only thing that comes to mind is Metal Gear's, except for two. Two two's ending was weird. Metal Gear Solid Two's ending was super weird because it's like okay. 
you you just done had a fight on a ship that may or may or not actually been real and you had a ship that went down like like a main street in New York City blew up a building but then you're on the ground floor talking to Snake and they're all both in skin tight suits yeah. and people are walking past and you're like does nobody not see this why are two random guys just in skin tight suits just talking <laughs> And nobody's even acknowledging it. Yeah. And then it's just like that. For for Metal Gear game, yeah, it got weird. But it was like, okay, whatever. Three blew it out of the park. Um, I'm trying to think of it. Mafia 2. I liked Mafia 2 ending. That was a very Because it was like, game. oh, no, Vito. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. oh, God, no. Which, what have I done? Um, Just a side note about Mafia. Mafia 3. I will be having that Friday. I was watching Angry Joe play a little bit, and I'm like, this is awesome. The way that I see it, by the time you are watching this, I will probably have a video of some sorts up because I'm getting it Friday. Uh, I'm going to try to either record or stream it either Friday night going into Saturday because I want to play that. Yeah. So bad. Um, What other games? Uh, Bioshock. Oh, Those endings yeah. were really good. Oh yeah. Let alone Bioshock Infinites. Blew my mind. Oh, and then my did you God. play the DLCs? You haven't played the DLCs. I, I remember having a conversation with this before. You thought your mind was blown during the actual game? Just wait till you actually play the DLCs. Yeah, I don't think I did. And then it did a full another one eighty in the DLCs. Gosh, I want to say I did though, but I don't remember then. It was just, it was chaos. Okay, yeah. Um. Other than that, I don't really. I can't um, think of anything else. Chrono Trigger is amazing. Chrono Trigger was great. Um. As as much as I love Final Fantasy VIII, it had the weirdest ending. <laughs> it was so weird. It was like. Are you dreaming? Is Squall dead? Who is this person? Inception. It's, uh, Inception. It's really, oh my really, gosh. it's weird. Maybe not Inception, but it does have to do with dreaming. Um, it's, it's weird. Um, I'm trying to, I, I'm really, I, there was another, there was another, game and i'm gonna hate myself if i can't remember any pokemon game <laughs> well see yeah but those are those are silent o2 was go last of us oh duh yeah and that that brings up a good point about how amazing naughty dog is because that wasn't a technically a conclusive ending it, it was just like think, yeah but it was still so good because it made you think i lot. mean because you just got done dealing with something pretty intense and then for him to choose not to tell her you know final fantasy 10 see i still need to play that game mm. i've never played it so good shadow of colossus had a good ending oh my god yeah shadow of colossus that whole game is beautiful um I almost want them to reboot it again. See, because I never, before. I never got to play the whole thing. I played a little bit of it. So good. And then in the same vein, Ico, because it's from never the same played people. that actually. I never the, played that. It's from the same people. And then the speculation with the end of Ico, basically what this game is, is you're trying to rescue this girl and get her out of this castle and save her from this castle. And when you get out of the castle. Mm -hmm. This light shines up, like at the end of the game, she's like, I forget exactly what happens, but this light shines to an island, and the fan theory is that Ico is in the same realm, the same universe as, as Shadow the Colossus, and that light shines on the Colossus Island. Okay. Because in Shadow of the Colossus, when you're on the beach looking across the ocean, you can see a castle. So, people are like, is Shadow of the Colossus a sequel to Ico? Maybe. They also think that, because oh, sorry, you haven't played it. I can't tell you the ending of Shadow Classes because it it 
actually kind of again people think that the ending of shadow of the colossus leads up to the last guardian no oh. it reverts back to ico which makes people think that ico is a sequel to shadow of the colossus hmm. it makes it more definitive i do have that on my ps3 i may have to shit like uh play it mm-hmm. journey journey and that, that was, was so that was, emotional uh, and that was free on ps4 yes playstation plus uh for oh. september um that was such an emotional game yeah that game made me feel so like light. if you did not cry or at least tear up in that game at some point what is wrong with you like no dialogue is spoken in the game it's all just but you feel emotions like you feel so bad. everything you start unraveling the story of what happened to like this tribe of robed people and then just like their journey <laughs> it's so that person's cool. journey to yeah. there and then like I just I don't want to say like, <laughs> but it's just like it's so like oh man like, man that when when you start freezing though, yeah I'm sitting there like no no come on keep going yeah but then it was so cool though the how they incorporated like online with that game yeah that was cool totally random don't totally random is. no names no talking just and then are. at the end of the game you you think that you only played with one person and then you see all these different names right. and you're like yeah. what <laughs> i thought you were one person <laughs> but yeah no i i love yes i love journey um let's see what else do we have here snake eater last of us portal portal, portal had a good ending portal. man one aperture science one and two yeah yeah, like, I mean, that was such a good ending for the first one, though. Like, and then it just reveals that, wow, there's so much more going on here. Yeah, that we don't know about. Yeah. <laughs> you better freaking believe Ocarina of Time is one of the greatest games I've ever played. <laughs> oh my god, Ocarina of Time. There, I could play that game ten years from now and still love it. It's just one of the most still well-built RPGs. That. Deadly, Deadly Premonition. Premonition. I, I never, never played, played that. I heard it was really good. Red Dead. Oh my was god! So that was so intense. In like in like one hour of gameplay at the end, I was so mad and then so satisfied. Yes. <laughs> like I mean, you, when that happened, I'm like, what? Really? Yeah. Because <laughs> you think you've beaten the game, and then John goes outside, and the sheriff is like. Come on out here, John. We're gonna kill ya. You know, shoot him up, and then his then flash forward way into the future. His son. It just goes on a freaking like vengeance spree. Like it was. Yeah, just the most amazing like vengeance adventure, and finds him, and he's like, "You killed my dad. You killed John Marston." Oh, it was so done. Good. <laughs> it was so good. So satisfying. Bioshock Infinite. Crazy. Super Metroid. Okay. Super Metroid for the first number I one game. I wouldn't put it at number one, but it does have a really good ending. Talk about endings. And talk about a difficult game. Oh, man. I feel like I'm missing a game. Final Fantasy X, Final Fantasy VII. Oh, those those are the only two. Uh, Final Fantasy VI. Oh, that's that's widely known as like one of the best ones. Final, Final, Fantasy, Final Fantasy, VI. Fantasy VI was really good. That's um, the one with Cloud, right? The one with or what? seven? Cloud. Seven is Cloud, yeah. Eight is Squall. Okay. I, I didn't say because I never really played too many Final Fantasy Nine. games. Nine? A lot of people don't talk about 9, but 9 is a very good game. Um, and then 10 is Titus. Titus, Titus and Waka. Waka's the Blitzball guy. Portal 2, yes, obviously. Very good. Yeah, very good. No, I'm in space. Sucks. Space. I'm in space. Uh, Braid. I never played Braid. Never did either. People raved about it. I hate page by page. Why do you do this? Because they want more clicks. Yeah. Oh, I'm so upset. I never beat the Wind Waker. I want to get a Wii U. Just so I can it's play. so good. 
Uh, well, I'm Wind Waker on the Wii, the Wii U edition. Like it's perfect. But Walking Dead, yes, yeah, very, yes. very, very good. That season one. I mean, was that was so the, like it's it's the it's the game that sparked the the freaking choose your own adventure. Heavy Rain. That is a game that I've I was trying to think of this entire time. Okay. Yes. Heavy Rain. Oh my god, just like every decision in that game though, too. Yeah. Like I seriously remember sitting there playing Heavy Rain and when you were asked to kill somebody, I'm sitting there holding it like this. Like oh, I got to. I got to save him. And I like I pulled it too. I'm like I'm like, "Oh my god." <laughs> uh what else? What what's the other um Until Dawn? That was Until a good ending. I still gotta beat that. <laughs> I dropped that game too. God, <laughs> I have. I need to stop, but I can't because there. It's it's the fourth quarter. There's games coming out. Yeah, there's I just too many to games get. coming out. <laughs> like what I what I have planned is uh, Deus Ex is gonna be taking a backlog here on Friday when Mafia comes out, and Mafia is gonna be full force. Um, That's fair for the weekend until Tuesday. Tomb Raider comes out. On the yes. PS4. Yes. So then I'm going to have to be bouncing back and forth between Mafia and Tomb Raider. Uh, and then hopefully I can just beat those two relatively soon. At least before... Uh, what What is it? At least until... No, before November. Because then by the time I get the PlayStation Pro, I want to play Deus Ex again. Yeah. In 4K goodness. Yeah, definitely. I'm like giving up on, yeah. I'm gonna give up on this. Yeah. But I think we can call it on that. All right. Well. So, yeah. Conclusive endings, non-conclusive endings, satisfactory endings. Just endings that make you feel good, that you, you you feel like you didn't waste your time. You played a good game. You feel satisfied. Well, that has been it for the Maddie C Show. I hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, make sure to subscribe below. And until next time, have a great one.